Hey there, folks. Welcome back to day two of the 30 days of banjo. Hope you digested some of the information from yesterday and were able to practice that example of boil that cabbage down, but we've got some new material to learn. What we're gonna learn today is called the pinch. And the pinch is very simple. All it means is that I'm gonna play the thumb and the middle finger on the two outside strings, the fifth and the first. So just give that a try. Just do that a couple times. Now that on its own doesn't really mean a lot, but it's used in a pattern that we use all the time, which sounds like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm just playing with the index finger on the third string, and then a pinch. And then I'm just repeating that over and over again. Now, before we actually utilize that in a song, we just wanna get comfortable with the technique itself. So you're gonna to wanna to practice that pattern, but there's some variations that are gonna be useful as well. Try this one. Use your thumb on the fourth string and then the pinch. Repeat that again. It's the same idea, but a little different. How about another idea that's kind of the same, but a little different. Take your index finger and play it on the second string. Then the pinch. Again, not so bad. The next thing we wanna do is combine these. So you're gonna do the first one, then the second one, then back to the first one, then the last one. Do that all in a row. Now let's look at the tablature for that example because it's gonna look a little different than what we've already seen. As you can see here, the way that it's notated is that there are four notes in each measure. So the way we can count that is just to say one, two, three, four. And you'll notice that there's no circle around each note this time, there's just one long line underneath it. We're gonna call that a quarter note because there's four of them in each measure. One, two, three, four. Each one is a quarter of a measure. The notes that we looked at before, we're going to call them half notes because they're half of a measure. One, two, three, four. It gets a little different with different types of music, different time signatures, all sorts of things that we don't actually need to talk about right now, but just know that it can get more complicated. But for now, just play these examples and count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, now, that's all the new material for this lesson. So, your homework is this. Practice these patterns and try to play them cleanly and clearly and build up some speed if you can, but keep the notes spaced evenly, which means counting along if you have to. Also, you want to keep progressing with that version of Boil That Cabbage Down. I know it seems simple, but the more comfortable you are with that, the easier it's gonna be to play tomorrow's lesson. And you might now be wondering, how much should I be practicing this stuff? Well, this probably isn't too difficult for you yet, but you should practice it until it's easy. If you have just a little bit of material to practice, then repetition is the name of the game. You're just gonna keep doing it until it's comfortable. And it might be that right now, your hand isn't even completely comfortable playing anything on the banjo because this is a new instrument and it's strange to hold it in a certain way and play it in a certain way. So these simple, simple exercises really benefit from repetition. So if that means 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even an hour, then that's fine. It really kind of depends on how comfortable you wanna be. And today's featured banjo player is Ralph Stanley. There's more playlists in the description of this video where you can listen to his banjo playing. He's known as one of the big three, Earl Scruggs, Ralph Stanley, and Don Reno, who we'll talk about tomorrow. These are some of the earliest three-finger banjo players and some of the banjo players that we think about the most in terms of the tradition of this style. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you'll be back tomorrow for day three of the 30 days of banjo. Of course, this entire series is completely free, but if you don't mind, do me a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's a huge thing you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.